Hey guys, it's Amir from Emos.com. I'm doing a quick first impressions gameplay video for Mu Legend. Free to play 3D action RPG developed and published by uh, Webzen. I'll spend about 10 to 15 minutes running around checking this game out, make some comments. If you guys want to play Mu Legend or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on Emos.com on the link below. So let's get started right now. We are in the character creator and we only have four playable characters right now. Five I can't count. We have Dark Lord, which is definitely an odd name for a class, but he is the Dark Lord. Pretty generic name, but whatever. We have War Mage on the side, which sounds way more interesting than regular Mage. We got Blader, and given that it's an ARPG, it's not too surprising to guess that I suspect the character classes will be gender locked, but we'll find out momentarily. And we got the Whisperer. Yes, there's a class actually called the Whisperer. They could have easily labeled her like an archer, a ranger, but they went with Whisperer, you know, like, Psst, everything coming in alright, can you hear me? I I'm not sure what that could possibly mean, but it's, it's, it's an archer, it's the ranger class. And we got the Emphasizer! Yo, she emphasizes things, and she's totally, I really have from League of Legends, that's the vibe I'm getting. Uh, her boobs are not as emphasized as we would like, but oh, we can't play her yet. No previews? Uh, appearance? Nope. Their emphasizing class is currently in preparation. They're prepping to emphasize her. Not quite there yet. Uh, we're going to play the Whisperer, obviously, the only other female character. And let's just jump in right now. We can see our character in various different outfits. That looks nice. And a lot of games let you do this in the character creator. Ooh, I'm liking this one. I right, would we'll go with this one. But obviously, I don't think it matters. These are just you know cosmetics you can see right now. And let's go right to the next window. We can do our character creator. Uh, I don't suspect there's too many options, there's only a handful of hairstyles. And if you guys know my character creator preferences, we always go with red hair. Red hair is where it's at. A few different tattoo options. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's too much to play with over here. You can be an elf as well if you want, but it just kind of changes your skin to be a little more pale. And you get longer ears. I don't know if there's any actual in-game differences though. But we'll go with human anyway. Can we get pigtails or something? Uh, there you go. Gotta get something to hold on to as I say. Alright, let's go ahead and just jump into the game, and my name will be Remote. Let's see if it's available. And we are good to go. Awesome. Uh, Moo, Moo Legend has actually has a lot to live up to. If you've played Moo Online, this is really the only PC success that there has been. Uh, there's been a lot of mobile games and a few, I think a few browser games as well. And Moo 2 Studio Present. Not present, they present. So we get a little cutscene over here, and this guy's running in battle. And he's gonna go wreck everybody, but we're gonna go ahead and skip this just to get to the game. And now we get an in-game cutscene. Alright, we run some people over, swing our sword. Hey, I'm an archer. And we literally just... What? We just ran through, like, a stone wall and broke it. And we just seppukued our horse. Our horse is done, though. We just got our horse killed. Well, okay. Recommend the growth pattern. We can be strategy or wild shot. And we get different abilities, it looks like. Roll, and we get swift shot over there. I'm gonna go with the one with more damage, obviously. Actually, I'm pretty sure this one has more numbers. No, more damage. There we go. Let's just go with this one. I think overall, this just has more. It has like the same number of HP, one more attack, and one more uh, co-op. Why not? More bars must be better. Uh, of course we have wings. Of course. We talked about this in the podcast before, but I feel like a Korean and Chinese games are very like into wings. Like You always see wings in Chinese games especially. Korean games as well. All right, movement and left click, QWERT. Let's use our abilities over there. Close over here. We definitely aren't going to start like this. We're level 100 or so level 100. I suspect when we actually get to the game, we'll be a much lower level. We got a lot of CP as well. There's actually voice acting through, which is nice. So if you click Q, you get to use it. You know, I guess the game lets you try out all your abilities as soon as you start to see what you can look forward to leveling up. And Q looks really cool. If you Q, you get this massive arrow shot, which is like a super split shot. And that's really cool because it's actually like super wide. You hit like everything on the screen. If you remember Diablo 2, uh, Amazon had a similar ability where you actually, every time you put a point into it, you get an extra arrow. And anytime you, you see that kind of visual change when you upgrade an ability, it always looks cool. So we got, uh, let's do our E ability, more AoE, we can do R, that looks really cool too, that looks awesome. And we got T as well, which we'll do on the next enemy. We already killed these guys, easy dumpsters. And after we get past the tutorial, we'll see some actual uh, in-game stuff. Your time is over! We gotta kill Kundun. Oh man, the, the, that bridge has got almost done so, but not quite. Uh, visually speaking, the game looks pretty decent. Obviously, a massive upgrade to Mu Online. Mu Online came out back in 2003. It's, it's one of the oldest that like, continuously running MMORPGs, free to play MMORPGs. So, this is this is a much needed uh, upgrade to the game. You came and, alone. Again, it's the only actual the sequel being it's actually a PC attack. game, whereas other ones were mobile and browser. Help. That move looks really cool, too. Holy uh, crap. Soldiers. I remember seeing that in the, the, the actual one of the gameplay videos. So you got left, right click, Q, W, E, R, T. That seems to be all our abilities right now. And you can, I guess you can level them up as you wish. And one of the cool things about Moo has always been the ability to play the game like a shit ton. If you remember Moo Online, the max level was like something crazy like 800. And I don't think anyone 
on the official server reached 800, they might have. But I know the XP curve got absurd once you got closer to 800. The Black Knights accept that quest as well. We lost the bridge. I'm right, gonna skip this stuff because it, it's all tutorial anyway. And something's gonna happen at the end. We gotta reset and be back to level one. It's gonna pull us. It's gonna pull a Metroid thing on us. I do like in a game like this where it lets you see all your abilities because, like, you can see what abilities are really cool and what abilities you want to work towards as you level up. Oh man, there's a bunch of skeletons here. Let's use our T ability and just dumpster all of them. Oh man, look how look how stacked they are. Oh my god, giant numbers. There's something satisfying about killing hordes of enemies in action RPGs. And this action, it's not fair to call it an action RPG, it's an action MMORPG. Because it's gonna have a persistent world, we've looked this up. And that's really one of the cool things about Moo. You've had games like, you know, Path of Exile and Diablo. They don't really have persistent worlds the same way, you know, Moo Online always did. And Moo, Moo Legend will it, going forward over here. Let's just kill these guys and go forward. UW, we have our... We have, what does this mean over here, this battery? We can actually charge it if we hold W. So it gets even stronger as you hold it down. And obviously it takes more mana on the right side. Kill this guy and get down over here. I am like what I'm seeing so far. It's a pretty fluid game. Graphically, it's not revolutionary, but for you know, an action MMORPG, it looks pretty good. I feel like action MMORPGs are never really going for that hyper-realism, super great graphics. But it's very functional and looks obviously infinitely you know, better visually than Moo Online. So we're going to use our W to kill this guy because we're going to charge it up. I feel this is the easiest way to do single target damage to my class right now. Just hold W and do bajillions of damage. Arg! No, yeah, Moose spell got wrecked. And then we go forward. Talk to Axial. Axial is our. Is that Axial? No, that's Icarus. Oh no, the bear is weakening. He's got insert old man Meiji voice over here. Man, this guy's. He's totally Decker Kane. Oh man, we got the demon. I mean, maybe he doesn't want to die. Perhaps he wants to resist you because he wants to live. I'll show you my power by killing you. Oh man, put the, put up the shield. We got the defense. Last long. Ruh -roh. Future of this world. Oh no! Rests no pressure, bro. No pressure. Future's on my shoulders. No pressure. Oh god, go back in time. Stop. This is what's always silly about time travel plot lines. Go back in time to stop the evil lord. But would I have ever gone back in time had the evil lord not succeeded? Of course not. So for me to actually go back in time, the evil lord has to do well. It doesn't matter. We'll fix it. We got this, boys. And so we'll go back. In oh, all right. This is how we wake up to Linda over our head with uh, her uh, emphasized assets. Where am I? I can't remember anything. Oh, no. We got amnesia plotline too. All right. All right. I that's a pretty good way to go back in time. You wake up uh, with the chick uh, leaning over you. I'm going to sleep in my room for two days. Gather your strength. I'll wait in front of the house. All right. Interesting. All right. I, I see that makes sense. If you see like a girl in the forest and she's like skimpily clad and she's just laying there unconscious, you want to help her, right? But if you see that blader class or the dark lord class, that jack dude just laying in the forest, you're going to leave that guy alone. All right. All right. That's my character. All right. It looks pretty. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Didn't I have red hair or did I not commit to my red hair? What a disaster. I thought I picked my red hair. Oh no, we gotta reroll, boys. We gotta reroll. I, I need the red hair. All right, whatever. Let's talk to Linda for now. I, I'm, I definitely have to reroll, though. All right, we gotta, we gotta go somewhere. Click F. Except we gotta talk to the mayor, of course. So I'll take you to the mayor. All right, lead the way, lead the way. So you can see in town there are players running around. You can see the, the dots on the, on the map. The blue dots are in other players. This is only one of two servers. This is actually the emptier server. I think they made this server too because other servers way too full. So the game in the closed beta has gotten a lot of attention already. And rightfully so. I do like ARPGs in general. And seeing that as an MMORPG you know, element is actually a huge plus. Uh, Persistent World is always awesome in these games. How kind of rude of the mayor. But you just woke up. All right, we talked to you too, but who wants to go this way? Let's go talk to uh, Ilna. All right. Let's get that quest over there too. And hopefully we should be fighting some things real soon. Accept that as well. We have, uh, we have a soul box over here too. What is this? Open soul box window. We have one point. So we, every time we get, a, I guess, a soul level, you can customize your character's strength. You can increase some of your stats. We got support and miscellaneous. This is pretty crazy. You can actually get more money by pumping this and more experience. So if we put this is probably a good way to level up quicker, but obviously this is going to suck late game. You kind of keep your character, but can you reset? Right, it costs money, but it looks like you can reset. So optimal play is obviously to pump up your experience early on, maybe, and then reset it later, assuming the reset costs aren't crazy. All right, we got to go. Who are we talking to? Where are we going? I talk to you. All right, uh, grow wings. I want some wings, yo. I can't, can I, can I grow wings? Not yet. See my inventory too, equip some goodies. 
We got my training wing guns. I got two wing guns and dual wielding pistols. Awesome. There's a resurrection stones. Nice. Skeleton warrior. I got a pet. Nice. Register and okay. He's got com well, he's got three times my combat power, yo. So you can actually level up your pets as well, which is really nice. Games give you pets sometimes, but they don't level up sometimes. So it's nice to can actually train them. All right, nice. Can we summon him? Hang out with me, bro. Nice. All right, where are we going next? We got to actually um, carry out the first con auto moving. You can right click on the map to auto move. Simple enough. Arrive at Embryal Forest. So the arrow says go this way. We're going this way. I aim to bring it up, and we're gonna go right up over here. It sees where all, like, all your quests are too. It is nice to see how busy the, the actual game world is. Maybe I gotta go here first. You know what? We can. Which way do I go? Which way? Uh, let's go. It's right here. There's a circle there. Let's check that out first, and then we'll go up. Is like a waypoint? Yes. Okay. This this is basically your um, in Path of Exile and in Diablo you got waypoints. It gets you to the zones faster. Do we have time portals in this game too? Uh, town portal device. It's literally called the town portal device. Of course we have them. All right, she's following me now. Oh, there we go. This way, travel. I lost you earlier, Linda. Where'd you go? You left me earlier. Or that, or either that, or I was completely blind. So level up already. Learn new skill. Can we get our new skill? Uh, after we zone out, of course. Alt key to track other players or control the UI. I'm like what I'm seeing so far. It's you know, it, it's trying to be just a better move uh, move online. Uh, I never played Mood that much, so it's gonna be hard, you know, for me to compare the two. But it looks a lot better. It's an action RPG with. A persistent large world. None of that nonsense where, you know, everything is in. You know, we, I'm sure we have multiple channels over here. Yeah, we do. But it's not like there's multiple servers like Diablo had. We don't have as many abilities right now. We can see actual players running around too, which is always nice. Look how cute that skeleton is. Oh my god, that is the cutest skeleton. The skeleton. Look at this guy. He's adorable. The super chibi. I love it. Experience meter at the bottom. And so we have soul experience and regular experience. Oh, we got a lot of stats over here. We need more CP, obviously. So I guess we have, uh, every time we level up, we should be able to get a skill, and every time we get a soul level, we should be able to get a, one of these. Let's just put our points into physical strength for useful stuff. I'm curious, will my enemy attack, will my pet attack by itself? If it does, can I go AFK while he grinds for me? That'd be nice. I mean, does he get the experience then? I killed three dark spiders. Oh man, I'm so much weaker than earlier. But I can already safely say this game has potential. It definitely has potential. One, uh, unlike Davillion, which kind of flopped, uh, Mu is a pretty successful franchise. I mean, even if you never played Mu online, you have to appreciate just how successful the game is. It's been running since 2003, and it, it makes the most money for Webzen out of all their games. So despite its age, it's doing really well. If it can migrate some of those users over to Mu Legend, it'll do a lot. It'll, it'll do well. And the fact that so many people are excited for the closed beta is definitely a huge plus too. Just look how many people we saw in town on the empty server. The other server, I imagine, has much more. Kane, Deckard Kane, just regular Kane. First, con first contract mission. There we go. He wants me to go kill some stuff for him, probably. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going that way. Let's go learn our new skill, too. All right, we're going to click Q. We got Electric Explosion. We didn't have this in the tutorial. Interesting. Uh, all right, that's all we get right now. I get this at level four. Can I put points into these skills, or can I? do I unlock skills as I level up? And the only way I customize is via, or is it via these soul boxes? Interesting. And you can only have interesting. There's actually a lot more skills than you can, you can have equipped. So you can only have a certain number of skills equipped at once, even though there's more skills than that. So equip the ones you like. Q it. There you go. That's my right-click ability, too, anyway. That wasn't right. I, I did have that earlier. Do we have nothing else? We get more at level 4. The so left-click is kind of duke. Uh, I'm not even using my guns. Let's go. Can we use our guns? There we go. It looks really cool when you actually use them, because the animations are super nice. And some of the animations for the skills look really great, too. That, that one ability with the huge arrows falling from the sky, they looked amazing. So skill anim I feel like in most ARPGs, you need to have cool skill animations. And I generally, generally do like ARPGs. I'm using obviously pretty Duke gear, but obviously, for, I think for this game to do well, it needs some item system as well. Because honestly, I think one of the, one of the main reasons to play an ARPG is the discoverability of really cool items. Being able to farm for the perfect item is some of the best experience I had in Diablo, as well as games like Path of Exile too. So being able to grind for the best gear is always fun too. So you kill multiple things, you get bonus XP too. It encourages efficient grind. I approve efficient efficient grind. A uh, damage report over there. This PvP in the game too, I'm not sure if that's out yet. I'm sure it's out of the Korean version. Well, I think the Korean version is still uh, not in open beta either. So the, the release schedule is actually interesting because it'll be releasing North America probably within you know, a month or two of the Korean version. Which is super nice because we usually get games way, way later. Uh, a boot physics or an awful. Nice booty, nice booty. Do any other gear to wear yet? Nope. We got our resurrection stone. Does it res whenever we want? Oh, one thing I forgot to mention too, because I, I mentioned the podcast, because I got to the character creator earlier, but I couldn't get in because of uh, the first day was super laggy. 
The game has account levels too, which is interesting because the more you level up your characters, you gain account level. So it's kind of the sum of all your character levels, and it gives you actual stats in game. Well, we, we can we can use right click and left click at the same time almost to combo do more damage. I yeah, kill more eggs. So you, it actually encourages making alts and playing other characters because it actually benefits all your characters to have a higher account level. Super convenient and nice. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Fluid gameplay. If you like Mu Online, if you like ARPGs, there's no reason not to give Mu Legend a try. I mean, there really aren't that many ARPG games out there anyway. And unlike other ARPGs, this is an actual MMORPG with a persistent world, which alone makes it super nice. But yeah, I, I plan to check it out a bit more. These spiders are also mutating rapidly. Nice text. Does it have text bubbles over our head? Yes, it does. I love speech bubbles. It makes it feel so much more personal and easier to communicate, especially in uh, action MMORPGs. A lot of MMORPGs don't do it, but action, you know, action RPGs and action MMORPGs do it more often, and I always prefer it. I, it, it does seem kind of silly that this CP number is your, is your total strength. It does remind me very much of various Chinese MMORPGs where you see your, your combat power just floating on the top left. In fact, the interface is very, uh, is very Chinese MMORPG-esque. So, one hand weapons, two hand skills. Alright. So you have different skills depending on what you use. And you can, we can, can we level these up over here or are these just variations of it? Skill window. You can check the information variety of skills. Expert skills level 25 and 45. If you, again, if you've played more online, no reason not to check this game out. I, I suspect it'll, it'll do well. Because it's got a huge uh, potential because it, it is Moo. Interdimensional Rift is stable. So could, these, like, are these different dungeons we can go to? Uh, interesting. Close that out for now. There's a lot to explore over here. I, I, I think I'm feeling I'm gonna do a second look video for this game as I get higher level. And it, actually, we will be doing a Sunday Funday video for uh, Mu, Mu, uh, Mu Legend too. So if you want to learn more about it and see some more content, definitely check that out. But I will call it for now. If you guys do want to play Mu Legend or just learn more about it, do check the full review on Emos.com on the link below. Anyway, guys, later.